sorry for the noise it's raining and i haven't no more one more time for make this tutorial so excuse me if you hear you hear some noise when you will listen this tutorial and let's continue now in this navigation folder we have this route that will contain all of the route of our application we need to define this, this different route let's say it's a route okay and we have a path let's say that when we go on just local or 3000 this address we want just to return to show the login the login screen let's say here is exact and the element that we want to show is the login is a login page because we are in a real we can speak in in component i know and is login and where is this login form this login form is inside this the same page folder and it's here so let's import it so it's from the same login and is login and where if we are on this address local slash we have this login form that already appear okay and on this login form we have something very simple we are just a form not so big manipulation we are just a form and i have linked some css page for have the css style and i've created two variable one for the email and one for the password for contain the password and the email and here on the on chain i have updated this variable email and password and is it all so now let's continue our application routing the next is another route that will be for the profile let's say the element will be the profile component of a profile page i prefer call it profile page because component we use is there are, there are component by I prefer call them i prefer call them page and um, let's say we have this one for the login this one for the profile page and let's say we have one one last if the road that are in the url doesn't match all of this one or if you add many all of this we want to show this the app the app page okay and now let's close this one no no you okay and we just need to import the profile page as we do with the login page and here is profile let's see if this profile is profile here and the name is profile And if we refresh our application, we have this one that appear. If I go to slash, we are on the login to the login page. And if I go to profile, we can go on the profile page. And by default, when we are not building, because we are not building our authentication system, user that are not authenticated can go to the profile page. And instead of getting his name, we have a static information that will appear. okay let's continue now let's go back on the login on the login method and let's just come back here and you notice that when we click on login we have this app the app the, the, the page reload that is very fast the page reload we need to prevent this so for work let's open the console 
and check if ours if you mic continue to on to to record okay we continue to record okay and the thing that you want you want to prevent this the patch reload when we click on this login okay and for this we need to create some method for handle the login so let's see if this will be cost handle login it will be some asynchronous function and it will have some event is asynchronous because we will send we will make some requests from for from the from the back end so it's for the reason that i use async here i have some c okay and the first thing to do for remove the page reload on click is to make a prevent default and on the form we need just to provide some method call on submit and we say that when we submit this form we will call this under login function and just let's make a console log try to log in okay we refer the application automatically refresh and now if we click on login the, the page doesn't reload and in the console we have this message try to log in that happy because we put the message here the next thing to verify is to check if the input type are not empty and if they are empty to display some um, some notification error so let's say it will be if email is different from empty and password is different from empty we need to continue the script here is continue script script is I and if one of these has empty we want to display notification we want to display some notification error if these are empty okay for display with notification error we need to just use react justify and you can go on with documentation when you are on the link on the github page if you go button you will have a sign check the documentation to get started and click on check the documentation and here you can customize what you want let's see if in my case i want a top center i want to have an error notification and for the delay i want to have one of second and let's say show those and so fast and let me control those now okay and inside this you we will take this one and save it in our project and when we have the else let's just pass this tools error that we provide and let's go back on the github page and on the github page we need to take this two line this two import where we import the tools container and the tools css okay and this this is the, the way where the tools will display and this is the function that we, we will use for customize the tools and this import is for display the css of the tools library of the notification library and you notice that on the link and on the github page we have this tools container we need to put it where we want the tools to appear in my case in on top of the form so let me just post pass the tools container on top of the form and just save this and go to my react application to check if nothing are broken and exactly all is working perfect nothing are broken and this is here that our tools will be displayed and here we have display notification error and instead of wow so easy we need to display please fill the form and let's save this one and now if we click on login we have please fill the form notification that appear and 
you can customize it by give it a time if you want hide progress bar you say you put it this on true and you can choose go on the official documentation to check what and change it as you like in my case i will leave it like this okay now if if the email and the password are empty we have this this notification that appear perfect now let's continue now that the email here is here is when the email and the password are not empty when the email and the password are not empty let's say you want a, a wet axios because i import axios here you need you to import axios from axios and the method that we want to send is a post method and here we need to provide the back end address the api address and in my case is local host and the address is slash api slash load in okay and it's a post request that i want to send to this endpoint and in my back end let me just reduce this in my back end when i when i build the back end i just say that when we go to the post request on this url we need to provide some information such as the email and the password and we need to send them from react to and for same with you need just to open comma and send the variable by example the email that you want to send will be equal to the email and the password that we want to send it will be equal to the password and by writing this we will send some requests to the back end just let's go to the web view and test this let's just write some email and let's type some password here and let's go to the network panel let me just click or and click on login and you notice that when i click on login some the endpoint are being called and the data have been provided but we don't get some response because uh, here we get some response it says that user not found and you notice that the email that we type here are gone let's go back here the email that we type here are gone and the person that we type here are gone too okay but you notice that this variable this email is equal to this email and the password is equal to password so we can just provide one and not two so we can say that email and you can say it here password because email is equal to email and password is equal to password is the same thing that ryan email just email and password 